if you grew up in the 80s playing beat em ups like Double Dragon and eventually Final Fight and Streets of Eight, Rage, Streets of Age. Streets of Age. <laughs> <laughs> it's about getting a fake ID. Oh, uh, uh, I shouldn't eat that roast turkey I found under a garbage can. It's going to go straight to my thighs. <laughs> you might have heard of a little game called River City Ransom. Now, River City Ransom is one of my favorite co op games of all time. It stars two kids in high school who have to leave the high school and walk around town with some pocket change and beat the crap out of bullies who may or may not have hurt or stolen their girlfriends. Yeah, I'm and then you really beat the sure. crap out of them enough, they shout barf, and then they leave yeah. their, their lunch money on the ground. Yeah, and change falls on the ground. So they made a brand new River City game. Uh, it's this sort of like big-headed style game where uh, these big, big bullies run around town, they steal your lunch money, and you have to kick their asses and get it back. Uh, this is a quietly sort of released game. It didn't really get a ton of trailers or footage. Uh, uh, no one really knows about it. You won't see a TV spot for it during the Super Bowl or anything like that. But this is secretly and quietly one of my favorite 3DS games in a very long oh, this time. This looks great, too. I um, love that they kept the style, but it's still kind of kind of modernized. Yeah, so a really cool thing about playing this on the 3DS is you can actually shift the perspective so you can go to that street level. It works in full 3D, so uh, but it's still sprite-based, which is really cool to have a sort of 3D sprite hang out in the front. What's that tall man? Uh, I'm it's not really, really sure, it's but really he's, scary. he's one of the enemies you have to take down. Now, one of my favorite things to do in this game is you walk around towns. It's got this sort of RPG beat them up element where you collect money from kicking ass on all these gangs and then you take that money into stores and you buy cheeseburgers and sushi and pretzels and then you get new clothes and shoes to help you beat up all these bad cops and stuff like that. Uh, you that huge sick, man again? Kick <laughs> soccer balls at them. So it's a really, really, really good time. Uh, it's got a like a multiplayer mode. It's got dodgeball. It's got this Smash Brothers style mode. It's just a very special game. It's out right now. You can probably get it on Amazon and select stores and stuff like that. And it's a really good time. If you're looking for something to sort of hold you over for the bigger games coming this fall, uh, and you want something cool and fun and casual yeah. to play on your 3DS. Or you want to play something while you're dunking out. Yeah, totally. This is a great game. Uh, it also, and I won't spoil it, it has one of my favorite Easter eggs of all time. Uh, one of the cool things you can do in this game is head to the train station and just travel all around in Japan, you can go to like Shibuya and just like downtown Tokyo and just show up and beat up people and uh, take their money. Yeah, so and it's probably the best dodgeball game released this year. Oh, hands down, yeah. easily. I and mean, hundreds of dodgeball games have been released yeah. this year. It's been a great year for dodgeball games. It really has. So t stay tuned to the IGN's <laughs> top 100 dodgeball games coming never.